they will be better for the patient in that they'll get the care that they needed in the place at the right time. Okay, so also patient experience and stuff will be better. I look at some of the new staff, yeah. This is not me with 25 years worth of experience now. This is people delivering healthcare today fit for tomorrow. We've got, because we've got, we're building a team now yeah. fit for the future. Yes. Yeah, people share the same uh, ideology in terms of care. It's, it's almost like a family. Working here to me is like a big family. Massive changes every day. New wards, new staff, even the care that we give, I would say, compared to before. I think we're up there with the best. North Middlesex University Hospital is a great hospital. It's ours. In the last five years, there's been £200 million spent on expanding our facilities, including £80 million in 2013. Now, 80% of what we do happens in new or refurbished buildings, which have been designed so that patients move through them quicker and more efficiently. As part of our expansion, we have 450 more staff and 130 more beds, which is good as due to recent restructuring of healthcare services in our area, there's also been a 20% rise in people coming to A&E. Right now, we meet the key London quality standards, which is a big deal. Not every hospital does. In fact, many hospitals don't. The London quality standards were designed to stretch the NHS and provide better care for patients. Across the board, we've delivered. And in meeting these standards, we've also delivered great outcomes for our patients. Speaking of deliveries, our brand new maternity unit in particular is amazing and compares favourably to any other in the UK. It has all the safety equipment and hygiene of a world-class maternity unit, yet it feels like a home from home. In particular, in our birthing unit, there are double beds and even birthing pools and it's all been led by the midwives who respect and understand women's choices about how they want to give birth. And we continue to provide this high standard of care for our patients right through their lives. After maternity, there is Rainbow Ward, our warm and welcoming children's ward. And then, as we get older, there are all of the other specialist wards, units and high-tech surgical theatres. We are here for patients when they need us at any stage of their lives. Our patients feel cared for here, not just medically. Meeting the London quality standards means our patients have fewer instances of infections and complications. It means we're doing the job right. It means we're a world-class acute hospital, providing the world-class care in our local community. And it's a fantastically diverse community with over 200 different languages spoken. And as a result, we now expertly treat patients with a wide range of culturally specific care requirements. And it's a great learning environment for our student doctors. We've come a long way since 1910. We're always thinking about how to make our hospital better. We decided we didn't want to see people waiting in A&E for hours on end. We decided we didn't want patients to have to fill in their details and medical history three or four times before we could treat them. We've improved the patient experience by ensuring they can attend an A&E that's ready to deal with them as people. We wanted them to experience our care with dignity and privacy and for the time in our hospital to be smooth and simple and as painless as possible. We are responding all the time to the pressures on the NHS and what we've come up with is a new and better system to manage the patient journey. Here's how it works. As always, blue light cases go straight to the resuscitation area in A&E for stabilisation, where we now have consultants and specialists available 16 hours a day, 7 days a week. And now patients will no longer need to wait in A&E for a specialty doctor to come to them. We send them to the new assessment unit, where we now have consultants and specialists available 12 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, if you break your leg playing football on Saturday, you don't have to wait until Monday for surgery. 
and another new pathway is available through their GP. Patients can be directly referred to the assessment unit, avoiding A&E altogether. If a patient can't get hold of their GP, or it's too urgent to make an appointment, they can dial 111 or see a pharmacist, discuss their symptoms and get advice. In some cases, that advice might be, go to your local A&E or an urgent care centre. And that's when they come direct to us. At North Mid, our emergency department is an integrated combination of an urgent care centre and A&D. When a patient arrives at North Mid, we take a look at them and figure out which one they need. If it's life-threatening or limb-threatening, they go to A&E and then through the new assessment unit to a specialist ward. Less serious cases that can't wait for their GP get seen in our urgent care centre by a GP or nurse practitioner where they get patched up and sent home. Almost 90% of visits to our emergency department don't require admission, which is a good thing. We are excited about the possibilities for the future. We know that together we can keep building on this opportunity. North Middlesex University Hospital is a good news story and a fantastic facility for our local area. It's actually very simple and straightforward. Right care. Right place. First time. We are proud to work here. Proud to be treated here. And in every single way. We're proud of our hospital.